Running is the most challenging part of the Air Force physical fitness test and carries the greatest health benefit. To be a good runner, you need to build a foundation of physical fitness and maintain it. You also need to avoid getting hurt. Training too much, too soon, too fast is the most common error that leads to injury. Running with poor form is harder on your body and wastes energy. I'm going to teach you the fundamentals of good running. Posture, core, arms, feet, and cadence. The first principle of good running form is to maintain proper posture. Stand up tall and think of your body being a straight line. Your posture should be strong and athletic with a very slight lean forward. The second principle is a strong and stable core. Strong muscles around your abdomen, back and hips will keep your body's base stable while your legs do the work. The third principle of good running form is to use your arms and hands. To set your rhythm and maintain forward momentum, keep your elbows bent at 90 degrees or less and swing from the shoulder. Your hands should stay close to your body but should not cross your center line. The fourth principle of good running form is making sure your feet land properly. Your feet should land close to your center, not stretched out in front of you. Do not land on your heels with your foot out in front of your body, as this often causes shin splints or other injuries. Your full foot should land at the same time. This is called a midfoot strike. This landing pattern maintains balance, reduces impact, and may decrease the risk of injury. Do not run on the balls of your feet without letting your heels settle. Also, by landing with your foot closer to your center, you will generate more spring and power. As your body moves over your foot, push the ground behind you by using your glutes. The fifth principle of good running form is your cadence or rhythm. Your tendons are like springs. When you run with proper cadence, you harness that elastic recoil energy from your tendons each time you take a step. Proper cadence is about 180 steps per minute or three steps per second. It's less work than the slow, sticky steps of an overstride pattern. You can get a free metronome app on your smartphone that will help. If 180 feels too fast, start with 170 and gradually increase it from there. It does take getting used to. As you learn this new running pattern, Focus on your form, not your speed. Start very easy and slow. As you progress in endurance, strength, and coordination, you will soon begin to run a little quicker. After several weeks, your speed will naturally increase without any extra effort. Be patient and progressive.